You may have heard that putting flushable wipes down an RV toilet is a no-no. Here's what I think of that. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And we need to push past fear because we're going to take some heat from this video. Oh my goodness. We are touching what the third rail, right? Yeah, yeah this, this might uh, bring out some hate. Let's say it again so you can be sure you heard right. So brace yourself. <laughs> Paul and I take flushable wet wipes and we flush them in our RV toilet. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, the first thing we want to do is give a disclaimer that we are going to be sharing what we're doing. We're not telling you to do this. Certainly listen to how we're doing it and yeah, make your own decision. We have been doing it for two years, uh, over three different campers. I did it in my camper van, which was a straight pipe directly to the black tank. I've done it in the 260RD fifth wheel and now in the 310 GK fifth yeah, no, wheel. And no. they have plumbing. They have plumbing. Yes. But Some of you are furiously on your keyboards telling us what idiots we are for doing, <laughs> for doing this. Even though we've been doing it for two years and we have been full timing for two years. Yes, so right. so yeah. it, we obviously have not had any problems, but yeah. there's a certain way that we are doing this and that's what we want to share with you is how we're able to get away with using wet wipes and actually putting them down the toilet do you know there's some people that won't even put toilet paper yes i know yeah yeah actually i was not putting anything down my tank that any paper goods down my tank when i met you and mm -hmm. i kept a little lidded trash can and, oh, <laughs> and that was just the grossest thing for me i it mean was, that it was needs a plastic to bag inside <laughs> yeah it was, yeah yeah I hope you're not eating dinner while you're watching our video. Yeah. This is another one that has gone to... Yeah, yes, it really has. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about how we're doing this. Because yeah. there's several things. Actually, there are several things. Okay, first of all, um, we're using a special tank treatment, which we're going to talk about. But actually, before that, we're using special wipes, which we're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about how we dump. All right, so talk about the first component because this is huge. Now, I will say this. When, when I came aboard, Liz was using a product called Happy Camper. I'm sure many of you have heard of it. And it it's was, a black tank treatment. Yeah, it's a black tank. It, it's a holding tank treatment, ju not just black tanks. Every time I pulled the gate valve, I would, I would get anxious and, and nervous because, <laughs> because I didn't know if anything was going to come out at all and sometimes it didn't and sometimes we had to dump hot water into the tank to make it work. And I just want you to know about us that I am more carefree and Paul's more of the worrier. If there's anything to worry about, if there's any chance that something might go wrong, Paul will find that chance. And Translation, I'm more practical. <laughs> something but I okay so I'm more of a risk taker but I have not had any problems but Paul actually said hey if we're gonna do this we need to change things up yes we need to change to a different tank treatment so yes I used to use happy camper it's very popular with RVers it cuts odor but it has its limitations and the biggest limitation is it actually doesn't break down it does not dissolve solids not no. very well it uh, it's certainly not paper solid paper stays pretty much when we would dump i would see clumps of paper coming through big masses big, of paper yeah so um so talk about what we have because this is really a breakthrough product and it changes everything the product called tank tex rx this is really cool it converts your black tank into a septic tank it uses it's all organic it's a green product and it's using bacteria to to basically the way a septic tank works. It is a septic tank that you're creating. Yeah, yeah. We talked to the owner of Tech Tanks and I said, is it like a septic tank, tank treatment? And he said, it's like a septic tank treatment on steroids. And it really works. We're not being sponsored. We're not even getting this stuff for free. No, no, this is just something that we want to share with you. Uh, certainly, uh, if you want to buy it, if you want to go through our Amazon store, we appreciate you supporting the channel. One of the good things about this product is that you never have to flush your black tank when you're using it. When you drain your tank, you leave a small amount in the, uh, 
in the tank. You don't even drain it completely. Every time I pull the, the gate valve to, to drain, our, our black tank runs like a fire hose. And that's hardly an exaggeration. I mean, it just runs out as fast. It runs as... smoothly is what he's saying. Yes. There's no clumps or burps or right. anything yep. like that. No blockages. Yep. Yep. We're not going to show you that on camera for obvious reasons. <laughs> we'll spare you from that. Uh, I am totally sold on this product. How do you make your tank become a septi tank? What does What's involved in, this, in the very first time in you're using it? the first time it? you use this, you, do, you definitely, if you've been using some other product like Happy Camper, um, you want to flush it thoroughly and you basically want nothing but clean water coming out when you're done. And this is really important if you're not using Happy Camper, but if you're using a formaldehyde product, the traditional products from 20, 30 years ago are very bad for the environment. They pretty much kill everything they touch. So you want to make sure that you flush thoroughly if you're switching from one of those products to Tank Tex RX. Yes. So once your tank is it's clear, you of course you drain it. Then you add two inches of water on the bottom of your tank. Obviously you can't get in there to measure it. So just put some water in and then dump a quarter cup of, of tank tex in. Mm -hmm. That's what you start with. When you drain, like I said, you leave again that two inch, you're estimating two inches of, of stuff on the bottom of your tank. The instructions say something about don't drain the black tank all the way. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Well, yeah, because as RVers, we have no idea how to leave an inch of stuff at the bottom. How do you do that? Okay, yeah, there's two simple ways to do it. First way is have a clear view adapter, uh, which hooks up right to, between the hose and the tank outlet. Uh, and just watch when, they, when that is uh, about half full, shut the handle. Because uh, half full is about an inch and a half, which would be actually an inch of water in your tank and shut it. It doesn't have to be exact. What we're trying to accomplish is keeping the mother culture in the tank because what we have is a living microbe system that we're establishing in the tank. If you drain it all out, you start all over again. There's no purpose in draining it out. So you never drain completely and the way to not drain completely is to get a clear elbow and then when the water flow starts to slow way down, then just close your gate valve. The cool thing about this is you never have to flush again, and that saves you a lot of time. You're doing something that's good for the environment. There's no odors. It controls odors as well as the Happy Camper did. And this time it's actually digesting yes. and breaking down the yes. solids. Yes. Now here's something to be aware of. The first time we used Tank Tex RX, we called the owner of the company because it didn't work, right? right. It, it didn't catch. So right. it might have been that we didn't flush very well before using it so give yourself a second chance if the first time it doesn't work what liz said i think is right i, I don't think i flushed the tank clean enough and uh, there was still some happy camper in there and it interfered with the tank tech product right so give it another chance and the way you'll know if it doesn't catch is if you are experiencing odor i do have some concerns about if you're boondocking and you need every square ounce of your black tank, this may not be the product for you because you are leaving a little bit each time. You're but not. You're leaving maybe, maybe a gallon or two, and I don't see that as a as a deal breaker personally. But if you're boondocking, it may not work for you, or it might. So we talked to Don, and we said, "Hey, you know, we we like using the flushable wet wipes. Does it eat that?" And he told us to do a test and just put one in a jar with water, shake it up several times over a 24 hour period. If it turns to white fog in the jar, then you know it's gonna be fine in your tank. Right, if it just kind of falls apart. And the other thing is, is what happens to the wet wipe in the water. Like ours is suspended in the water, that's a good thing. You want it suspended in the water, you don't want it to yeah, sink to the bottom. It doesn't sink to the bottom of the jar. And it doesn't necessarily have to be fog, but when you touch it, it should it just... Should dis it should be dissolving, yes. Yes, it should yeah. be disintegrating. Now the third thing, and I think this is also very important, is before you go to dump, if you're not full but it's time to dump because you're going to be traveling or whatever go ahead and run your toilet and try and fill your tank because the more fluid you have in there the better it's going to flush out so we've been using tank techs now for six seven months 
and have had absolutely no trouble. It's still, every time I pull the gate valve to, draw, to dump the, the black tank, it runs as fast as the gray tanks. So yeah, so it just makes life better. If you're using Tank Tex RX, let us know how you like it. Yeah, I'd love to hear from other people that have been using this product and, and uh, hear your stories. We've been doing this long enough that if there was going to be a problem, I would know it by now. We've yeah. been very happy with it. We appreciate you supporting the channel by using our Amazon link. You don't pay any extra, but we do get a few cents each time. So yeah. thank you. Yes, thank you very much. And we'll see you in the next video. See you next time. Hey, what do you think about getting a new truck?